Jason, this one is for you. We have good news for foodies. Your mm -hmm. love of experimenting with foods may actually make you healthier. A new study from researchers at Cornell University found that foodies oh, tend to that weigh looks less. That healthy, doesn't it? Oh, I don't yeah. even know what that green thing is. What was that? It's uh, fiddlehead fern. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> so not only do they weigh less, they're more physically active than their less adventurous eater friends. So they kind of defined adventurous eaters as those who have tried nine or more foods on this list of 16 different foods. So not your typical American diet. Things like beef tongue, polenta, and kimchi. And you know, instantly you're like, where do I fall on the list? So I printed them out. I had yeah. everyone fill them out. Matt and Kim forgot theirs. Well, yes. But I remember. <laughs> I remember mine as well. I don't consider myself an adventurous eater. When you're listing some of these Foods. I'm like, no, I would I, but I got to 10. Like, some of these aren't that far out there. Sure. Quinoa, kale, that's everywhere now. But 16 no. items on the list. You got 10. I got 13. I was 9. 15. Derusha just crosses What's off the one, the one, one that he did. Yeah, what is the one? I'm <laughs> curious. It's like this wheat, this kind of wheat gluten meat thing. Right. Oh, I never on. heard of it either. Meat? It's, meat. it's like meat. a. Satan? Satan? How do you say that even? We call it Satan. Oh, yeah. so, okay. not <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's but the one thing. This study does have, you know, kind of that overarching good idea that Kim, this is good for people who want to diet. You don't have to stick to those same stringent. Oh, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it gives dieters so much more freedom because right now you think a diet, you're like, I have to stick with this and I can only eat this. This gives you the freedom to go and maybe just change up the places where you eat or change how you approach food instead of just sticking with that boring salad. Try the beef tongue. Add the beef tongue well, to it. Well, I think this is a self-fulfilling prophecy. I think people that are already healthy feel like they have that leeway to try different things on the menu rather than having to get the salad, having to get the soup. Maybe you get the beef tongue sandwich. Maybe you get the pork belly. I mean, you can mix it up a little bit. Some of this, belly. let's be honest. If rich you're, people food. If it's rich people food. Yeah. If you're eating quail eggs, you're eating rabbit, you're eating it's polenta, liver, oysters, raw oysters pork yeah. belly. Right. This is rich people food, and so they're, you know. They're I don't know. My mom grew up on a farm in Sleepy Eye, Minnesota, and she ate plenty of liver and even some beef. Well, sure, liver is a little bit of a cheaper cut, but <laughs> yeah, some of the other stuff, the quail eggs aren't cheap. Yeah. No. I, I think it's just this is not the standard diet, and I think the message that having a diverse uh, palette of foods to choose from that that makes sense that that would be better for you is it going to make you skinnier I don't know I'm wondering if this is going to do away with me. the the whole <laughs> saying that never trust a skinny chef if a oh. chef is a true foodie wouldn't they be skinny then oh, I don't know interesting maybe we're You've doing done it, it you just wiped it out oh we have actually we have some wheat gluten satan. oh we have an image this is what it, uh, what it oh. okay. I still don't know what it is it this looks is, like Tofu? Kinda? I mean, we need to. Maybe we need to have somebody in and, and make this up. Do we right? know anyone in town that specializes in seitan? <laughs> in seitan, yeah. Tweet us if oh, you've yeah. had it before. I mean, it, it is interesting. And the other part of the study found that not only are they healthier, you know, more, more active, they're more social too. They were more likely to have friends over for dinner and to cook sense. with friends. Yeah. Sure. And we all know that's good for you. The more you're eating at home and cooking stuff at home, that's, that's definitely healthier. Absolutely.